Well, y'all, hello, I'm back again. And guess what UPS just showed up here with? 11 boxes of 32 battery cells. Okay, that's uh, the beginning of that process. That's for dying sure. Again, there's 11 boxes here, 32 3.2 volt battery cells, which will make up, uh, end up making up four 24 volt batteries for the bus. So again, now I get a top balance them and do a complete load check on them and then put them together and install them in the bus along with all of the new Victron equipment that's going in with that also. <laughs> Wish me luck! Again, this is today's challenge with the Brian Bus Adventure. Okay, y'all, here we have the uh, batteries, finally. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the first box and just have a good look inside and see what's in there, see if there's any paperwork in there. There should be some parameters, of charging parameters, etc. in the box. And again, I have 13 of these boxes in this little old shed of mine right here, right now. And that will be a total of 32 batteries that uh, I got from China. And again, that's 30, uh, 32 cells, not batteries, the 32 cells, which will make up two 16 cell 24 volt batteries or four 8 cell 24 volt batteries. I haven't quite determined yet. I just don't know which BMS to use yet trying to get that information, but I will get that soon. Okay, here are the first two cells that came out of the package. They're not bloated at all. They're definitely new cells. They look really, really nice. So I want to thank you, Win uh, Winnie, again, from over in China for getting me these really nice cells. So again, I'll unpack the rest of them and we will continue to see what they look like. Yep, here we are back again, y'all, in my little old garage out here, my little shed. And this is 32 cells. It's going to make up two 16-cell batteries at 24 volts. So I'm, I'm fairly sure that's what I'm going to do. I have that option, or I can do four 8-cell 24-volt batteries. But I think the two 16 sounds a lot better. But here's the start. Next, they're going to be top-balanced. And then we'll do a capacity test on all of them. Uh, it's going to take uh, three or four days, but we're getting there. Okay, y'all. Yeah, we haven't left you. <laughs> it's, uh, well, I guess I haven't put anything up in line for a couple months now because I've been so busy trying to accumulate more cash to uh, continue working on this bus. And uh, this is what I've done, well, actually today. I brought the 32 cells from the storage compartment I had over here to the actually inside the bus. I put this table up here. And what I've done today is I pulled out the little charger, which is a little small, inexpensive charger. And I hooked that up to about 3.6, well, it's 3.63, it looks like it's maxing out. And full amperage, which is starting at about 4.6 uh, amps, and it's now down to 4.4. So this thing is balancing out very quickly. And what I did was they supplied me with a bunch of the connectors, a bunch of the black uh, you know, connectors between the cells. But there wasn't enough, because when it's done, it's not gonna be configured like this, using two for every one. So what I did was I went over to the store. I tried to take some shielded wire and pull the shielding off it, but man, all I did was, was really just blister my hand up. It just didn't want to come off. And then it was the multi-stranded wire. And that's kind of uh, dangerous actually doing that because it could be uh, a stray wire hanging out somewhere and it'll short between the positive and the negative. But what I have done now is let's see what we've got here yes the yep the black is black is positive i was looking at it just thinking oh did i do it right but i went over to one of the box stores and got some picture hanging brass or copper wire really surprising i got two rolls so i went ahead and wired the remainder of the negatives together starting over here come back around and wired them back here to the front and then I took from the positive side, which is the black, these are things are, are, are signified like a house wire where the black is the positive. So I took that and went from here, wrap, 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 and went down behind so I wouldn't touch the loop up on top and then came back and went over here. And starting off, we had 3.31 volts. So I hooked in the charger here and now well, we're just going right on down. It's 4.4 now. But the reason I chose this wiring, this really small gauge wire too, is because if anything happened where it would happen to short out, that small gauge wire will just pop. 
it'll just go poof, pop like a like a piece of popcorn. And then it'll stop the charging or the negativity or whatever. It's kind of like a, well, almost like a fuse. 0.6. And more balance, the amperage, which is the bottom number here. Okay, y'all. Here it is about uh, probably 11 hours later. And look, we are still drawing a ton of amperage out of this thing. Interesting, interesting. So they were not as top balanced as I thought they were when I got them. They all, again, read at 3.13, the 3.31 uh, volts, which is good. But, of course, the state of charge on all of them is different. So, again, just going to let it set. And it might take uh, two or three days to do this. I don't know. We're pumping in there. Let's see how many amps are we pumping in there. We're pumping in 14 or 4.123 amps and about 15, 14, 15 uh, watts. So it's going to take a while for these things to top balance, but that's okay. That's what we're here for. And uh, I knew they would take a little while, but sure didn't think they would take this long. But hey, that's okay. When they're done, they will be done, and they will be ready to put together into the four eight-cell batteries. That'd be four 24-volt batteries. And um, yeah, it's going to work. Okay, we'll let you know as it transpires how it works. Thank you. Bye. Okay, y'all, here we are back again in the bus. This is, uh, it's been 24 hours since I started the battery balancing. I was going to say charging, but it's actually it's a charge and a balance. Uh, they're going up to, as you can still see, 3.62, see, 3.63. And the amperage going in is now dropped by about uh, 0.5 or about a half an amp over this 24 hour period. And as the battery becomes more and more balanced, it will start dropping that faster and faster and faster. So again, 24 hours uh, for half an amp. Mm. And again, one thing you got to remember, why does this take us so long? It's because there are 32 cells here. 32 th uh, 3.31 volt cells here that all have to be top balanced the same. So it's gonna take a while as they kind of go, okay, this one's a little lower, that one's a little higher, this one's a little lower, that one's a little higher and bring them all up to that 3.6, uh, 3, 3.65, anywhere in that area is great. So um, let's see how long it takes for this thing to go from, well, now it's back at 4.08. Oops, there comes the air conditioner on. So 3.48 and see how long it takes it to get down to zero on that amperage. Okay, y'all, we're going into I guess a day and a half now at the top balancing of these 32 cells. And you may think, wow, this is taking a long time. Well, it is because I am doing all 32 cells at the same time. I could have stripped them out into say four eights and done it and then brought, brought them all back together at the same time and then top balanced them. But I wanted to do it this way. I wanted to see just exactly how long it would take for these puppies to get there. But we're down to, well, basically four. Yeah, four amps, and again, uh, probably this afternoon it'll be down into the threes. Then I think once it gets down past into the threes, it's going to go a lot quicker than it uh, would be going now because it would be getting closer to being balanced. But again, this is what we're doing. Going into, like I said, a day and a half now, and uh, we'll see how long it takes. Hmm. They're going to be really top balanced when they're done. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this. Remember to like, share, and... Uh, you know, go ahead and subscribe. It'd be nice. This is the Brian's Bus Adventure. Well, hello, y'all again. This is uh, Richard here with um, the Brian's Bus Adventure. And guess what? The old thing just went down below four amps. That's kind of cool. It's going to drop down quick. You're probably sitting there just watching it go down, down, down now. It's going to go down very rapidly now. Well, more rapidly than it was before because that means it's actually pretty well taken part of the charge and again this is what uh, it'll be two days as of let's see today is uh friday yeah so this will be two days that it's been charging or i should say equalizing top balancing and i probably think two more days for this thing to finish oh that's going to be a big milestone because then we'll be able to put together the four 24 volt batteries out of these 34 cell, 32 cells excuse me and then we'll actually go in and 
tear out all of the old charging system, the inverters, the batteries that are still down there. I put some car batteries down there just to, to you know, to put a place for the for the juice to go, so to speak. And um, let's see, I'll be tearing all of that out. And then we'll have everything but solar panels on the roof. And that will be kind of the final thing because I'll be running off of the, well, probably off of shore power for the meantime. And then after we get going, then I'll be running off of the uh, generator for a while. So again, the uh, solar panels will be going up probably about the last thing out here. But this kind of excites me. Check it out. Check it out. It's down under four amps. So here we go. And again, thanks for watching, and we'll keep you informed as to what's happening with the batteries.